You know, folks, you can lose your eyesight. And holy, holy, holy. That's helping, helping others. God in all persons. What's that? Selfishness. Egotism. Me. Holy. So what do we have? We have with the riots. And we wouldn't have this mess with that virus. Early reminder. Thank you, Google. Having them being want to be like a dog or a cat. They just want to be friends and have good harmlessly. Don't hurt anybody. Folks, we're all so glad that we have you to the second app is no, what this is all about. Every day Sandy reads to me from the World Book Encyclopedia. The third one is Wayne Collins over in Pittsfield. A folder. Her own. And it is to do list for you. She can help you. Good news that after meals two on meals. Met our new neighbor. Uh, See that? Isn't that great? And TV. Church. In fact, they were required to have one. And then the. Uh, the email you said Google Assistant indicated the email address. Uh, Folks, uh, this group of women had a very spiritual uh, transmission about it. I know that sickness and guilt. Five. Okay. Now, Mark. Folks, I am so grateful for the Raphael family. Um, the advertiser. Yes, advertiser. Um, uh, Benny, what did Wayne Collins write? Uh, Benny, what did Wayne Collins write with, uh, with a vegan what? Lifestyle? With a vegan lifestyle and television dedication, Glendora lives at 92 without doctors or medication. Hooray for you and for Wayne. Say it again, would you, Benny? With a vegan lifestyle and te a television dedication, Glendora lives at 92 without doctors or medication. Way to go, honey. That's it for now. You know, folks, you can lose your eyesight, and you can still be happy, and you can still feel accomplishment, because you learn to go by the articles in your household, and you do it all by touch, and you can have a triumphant feeling because you made it. And you know, folks, even though you have things like that, every day still gets better and better. Every day gets better and better. Are you done? Holy, 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 that's helping others. Lord God Almighty, that's helping others. Early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. That's helping others. 
holy, 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 it's helping others. Merciful and mighty. Merciful. Glendora is merciful. She makes more mistakes than anybody. Mighty is what? Helping others. God in all persons. Helping others in all persons. Blessed charity. Holy, holy, holy. Helping others. Though the darkness hide thee. Darkness? What's that? Selfishness. Egotism. Me first. Through the eye of sinful flesh. Sinful flesh? What's that? Selfishness. Egotism. Me first. By glory we can see. What are you saying? I'm saying that through the darkness, which is selfishness, egotism, and me first, and through the eye of sinful flesh, which is selfishness, egotism, and me first, what? You can still see the glory of helping others. Holy, no. Only God is holy. Only God is holy. Only helping others is holy. There is none beside God. Only helping others. And there is none beside helping others. Perfect in power, in love and purity. So what do we have? We have... When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you help others. Folks, we've got to get out this message. Let us all get together and get out this message. Because don't you see, if people would do that, if we would all get together and do that, we wouldn't have this mess that we have in Washington, D.C., would we? We would have people nice and government efficient. And we wouldn't have this mess with the riots, and we wouldn't have this mess with that virus. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. Now others includes animals. Stop and think how you are treating animals. You are making them live in filth and urine and feces all of their lives. You are making them being prodded in the rectum with an electric prod. Do you think you would like that? And being pushed into... The time is 1 p.m. Early reminder. Thank you, Google. Having them being prodded with this electric prod into a dirty truck to go off to a miserable death in a slaughterhouse and be clobbered and cut open and then all cut up into pieces and sold for money. That's probably the worst part of it, is being done for money. And every time you go to the supermarket and you put down your money to that cashier, you're doing this to an animal. And all they want is just to be like us. They just want to be like a dog or a cat. They just want to be friends and have good times together and raise their own families. That's all they want. So. That's the first thing. How did you treat others? Others are animals and so therefore be vegan. Vegan means no animal products, no fur, no honey. Leave the little bees alone. They work so hard for that honey. And then we come along and steal it from them. You think that's right? Actually, vegan means living harmlessly. Don't hurt anybody. And then after that, of course, we have helping others. And the thing about helping others, everybody, is that we all act together the way we are right here now as brothers and sisters. And we all work together. Why? To make God, the universe, grow and glow and go. Folks, we're all so glad that we have you to share things with and enjoy this great world together. I would enjoy it if I was the only person on earth. If I were God's only person, I would enjoy sharing it with God. 
But it's so much better to have you and billions of others to share it with. Now, this is the micro cassette. Benaya is at the camera. Today is the last day of July. We ate up that beautiful weather so voraciously. Tomorrow is August 1st, year 2020. that your computer phone can do? Isn't it fascinating? And I found out that Google Chrome is a... Uh, search engine, right? Day, even though I'm not going to be in this world much longer, the fascination with God just stays as, with me as if I'm going to stay here forever. Every day Sandy reads to me from the World Book Encyclopedia, we read ten entries. Like today, we read about Collins, who was the first commander of, first woman commander of a spaceship. And With uh, Pat Nichols, we read the Encyclopedia Britannica, which is a marvelous creation. Those people are so erudite. They know so much, and they write it so well. So if you really want to know something, go to the Encyclopedia Britannica, and you people here in the Capital District of New York, go to the Upper Hudson Library site and they will take you to the Britannica. And think how much that Britannica costs the library. Woo! Well, it should. It's such a wealth of information. And then the third one is Wayne Collins over in Pittsfield. He has a 1957 Compton's Encyclopedia. Well, you have to be careful what subjects you select. But we've been reading about air, atmospheric, pressure, dew, D-E-W, frost. These are all great creations of God that continue to fascinate us all. It's a kaleidoscope. And then the fourth one is Wikipedia. So why, at the age of 92, no doctors, no medicine, does a person continue wanting to learn about God? This is uh, Alyssa. The assistant is Alyssa. The other assistant is Google. Have you gone to Google app? Okay, so you put in library. Found out what she can do for you. She can make a grocery list for you. She can make a uh, to-do list for you. She can help you send a letter. Oh, this is pretty good. Listen to this. I can
can call Sandy's uh, email, and I can leave an email on there. Google how she does it, I don't know, but she copies it just like that. She puts a copy onto my email, and she puts a copy onto Sandy's email. Do you know what has happened? You have dictated a letter. You're like a big executive in a great big company with a secretary dictating a letter, and you've done it, and Google's done it for you. Meals on wheels. Our new neighbor uh, next door. And Sandy, it thank you for two all months to meet our new neighbor. The little 22 children every day that you help. It's not an easy job, and you deserve a lot of credit for it. She's a Montessori teacher. Uh, we're using your email. So, that's a message to Blakeman saying, Sandy, it was a delicious supper that you are so kind to give Glendora last night, and it was very good news that after two months we met our new neighbor next door, and Sandy, thank you for all that you do for the world, the little. It'll be sent from your account at chat with Glendora at gmail.com. Do you want to send it or change it? Yes, yes, send it. Send it. Sending your email to Blakeman. Cool. And then it shows that the email's been sent. It does. Now you and see that? Isn't that great? Yeah. Our neighbor next door is so quiet. As I say, well, it took us two great. months to you meet him. what that means, folks, that you can dictate a letter. Because that letter is going to go to Gundor's email, and then by Wi-Fi you can send it to anybody you want. That's dictating a letter. And our neighbor you gave us Wi-Fi. And while we're in the email, you have a couple of emails. That would be uh, Paul in uh, Salem, Oregon. He used to live here, and he, as a little boy, he watched the SS Gondor. I wish I could make a list of these, it'd be much faster, but I can't see it to read yeah. or write it. Chicago Public Access TV, Chicago Access Network, shortened CAN, CAN TV. TV. Hi Jack, Quillen, hi Grady, hi Kenny, hi Leslie, hi Steve, hi Joe. Ordering food from the Seventh Day Adventist Church in Schenectady. It used to be that every Seventh-day Adventist church had a store in the back of the church. In fact, they were required to have one. And then the um, congregants of the church could go into the store and buy vegetarian food because Seventh-day Adventists are supposed to be vegetarian. Are you, yeah, you got any big... Who's the third one, honey? Kathy. Kathy. Kathy's got 
Montana. Okay. Cassie went to Montana and she hasn't come back yet. Pretty much up to date on the email. She graduated from Cornell. Really Esther graduated from Cornell. Oh, Five year course as a uh, Now the app that you were that was showing me, that was a Google Assistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you were in the middle of showing me what was she doing? Uh, well we we got the email, you said Google Assistant, you dictated the email to the uh, Google Assistant. You can also use it as a search engine. You could say, Okay, Google, um well, you, she just did a great job, I thought, sending the uh, dictated letter to your mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Let's see if we have a nice hymn for you. Come now, all happiness. Helping the world you go. Caring and sharing. Helping all glorious, ere all victorious. Gone is the selfishness, ego is out. Well, I think that's it for Mr. Benai, and we thank you for being the cameraman. All right. Folks, uh, this group of women met in the same house of a woman uh, for several years and they always met in the same house, or rather in the same room. And one time they came folks and the room looked so nice. Well what have you done to make this room look so much better? Do you have new draperies? No. Do you have new carpeting? No. You have new wallpaper? No. Well what have you done to make this room look so much better? I took down the ironing board. Somebody asked the dog Somebody asked a dog, are you bilingual? The dog said, oof, meow. Can you find out for me why the daughter of Mary Baker Eddy was taken away from her? Why was the daughter of Mary Baker Eddy taken away from her? She indeed had a very spiritual uh, transmission and she was so strong and so close to God that she could heal people. She could heal people and she healed herself. Doctors said she was going to die. But she meditated and meditated until she got so close to God that she healed herself. And then she passed it on to others in uh, a book. And she worked and worked on that book the rest of her life. And she founded the Christian Science Church. What did she do? I I've talked to several Christian scientists, but I never get the idea. What do they do to cause people to heal? It's something about seeing the perfection of God in every person that there's no such thing as illness. Now, I believe in spiritual healing. I don't know the truth thing about it. I know that sickness and guilt have a lot to do with each other. If you take away the guilt, you'll get rid of the sickness. If you have sickness, you'll have guilt. Let's explore that together sometime. What's well, another topic I want to talk to you about? Lenora lived at 92 without doctors or medication. Every word and syllable is chosen precisely right. We made a program yesterday and we put your song on it. Wayne Collins, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Bye bye. bye, -bye.
Now, Margaret Ann, no, you are the best. Glendora is not the best, you are the best. And when in you and Claudia going to take my money and buy us a dinner, and we will have it here at Happy House 3, the three of us, and rejoice and reminisce about how when you were a little girl, you and Claudia together used to watch the SS Glendora in 1955, 1962. Now, you, Bethel Lutheran Church in Beverly Hills, please keep up the good that you are doing the world. Persist in it. And that's all for now, Benny. All right. Folks, I am so grateful for the Raphael family. Raphael is spelled R-A-P-H-A-E-L, just like the famous painter of Mona Lisa. That was Leonardo da Vinci. What did you say, Benny? That was Leonardo da Vinci who painted the Mona Lisa. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I need you around a lot more. And uh, there is Benaya, who is in ninth grade, and L-E-L, -L, who is in eighth grade, and little Abigail, who is seven years old, and all of her collection of dolls, including her Kenny doll. And then there is Esther, the mummy, and there is Benaya Sr., the daddy. Uh, I can live and I can be happy and I can give my best to you because of the Raphael family. They supply their eyesight. Thank you very much. What comes after that, Benny? Um, the advertiser. Yes, advertiser. You are so important. And this week you did not put in that great article that we labored so much to send you. Advertise it. We have to get out the message. When all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others? Others are animals. Don't you see that with that in our hearts, how you treat others, we could get rid of the nonsense that's going on in Washington. We could get rid of the riots. Uh, we could get rid of this virus. If we would all realize our oneness with God. What would